have a lot of different award shows. We have the Grammys, where a whole bunch of people get together and talk about some of the music made and shit like that. And I enjoy music, enjoy dogs. Fantastic, wonderful, great. They have the, there's an award, the Nobel Peace Prize. Go get him. Go get him. What's it? Go get him. Hey. What are you doing? They have the Nobel Peace Prize. They usually get it pretty good. Usually. They usually award it to the world's biggest fucking brainiac. People that do some good shit in the world. I haven't quite figured out what fucking Al Gore got it for yet, but hey, nobody's fucking perfect. Then they have the Academy Awards, which I give the Douchebag of All Awards Show Award. Really, just a bunch of fucking jerk-offs getting together, sucking each other's dicks and being like, ooh, look how great we've done. Wow, you've done a wonderful job. Fantastic. Woo. You know. Let me tell you something. They're acting. Movies are fiction. I prefer documentaries if I'm going to watch some stupid shit. But movies are fiction. They're pretty cool. I was brought up on fucking Star Wars. But you'll notice a lot of times, that show, they have some jerk off portraying someone with a disability. A couple years ago, Jack Nicholson was one in, uh, I don't remember, he played with some fucking guy that had uh, OCD or some shit. Woohoo! Probably did a lot of studying. One hung out with some people with OCD to find out what was really on and then tried to emulate them, emulate, portray, act as they do. Okay? You know, I don't think too much of old Jackie. I think he's a good actor and all, but... Hey, Jackie, you want to emulate something? Suck on this, Jackie. There was a chick a couple years ago. She did this thing about... Uh, it was Alzheimer's. She won the little gold douchebag award by a bunch of fucking pretentious assholes that wander around sitting there because they make a couple monies and their face goes on a uh, screen. They think they're much more important than they actually are. They get shut the fuck up. She portrayed somebody with Alzheimer's. And her big scene is when she would wander around in the house. Yeah, I saw this shit because I like movies. I know that they're fictional. You know, and they depict things and everything else, but just take themselves too fucking seriously. Anyway, her big scene was she was wandering her house, looking around for the bathroom, she ended up pissing her pants. But you know what, after that, she, they said cut. She went over there. She got fucking changed up and shit like that. She went home, and she had herself, uh, I don't know, full fucking biscuits and gravy, or I don't fucking know. Or maybe she's one of those fucking jerk-offs, like, what is it? Paltrow does the hydration where she sticks a tube up her ass and shoots food up her ass. She says that eating is for poor people. I say, go fuck yourself. And then you had another guy who, oh yeah, portrayal. Did a great job. I like the movie. Gotta tell you. Portrayed Stephen Hawking. Now, I don't know who this fucking drunky, limey douchebag is, but... Portrayed Stephen fucking Hawking. Arguably one of the smartest motherfuckers in the world. So fucking smart, he outsmarted fucking Lou Gehrig's disease. What the fuck is that? And this guy is pretending to be him. Go fuck yourself. This award show is not pretenders. This award show is the angry quad... Badass rhinoceros show, okay? That's what we're all about. We fucking, well, we, yeah, me, me and the fucking guy, me and my dog, all right? We snoop around and we find people 
that have defeated or are defeating or are trying like the sickest motherfuckers that ever walked the fucking earth as hard as they can and using their own imagination to come up with shit, okay? They take the fucking fight to their injury, okay? Now that is a fucking award. What we have here is the Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Award. It's the Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Award Show. This is where we give credit to people that actually do shit. The Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Award Show. Where people don't give a fuck how they do it as long as they fucking win. Go fuck you, actors. Bunch of fucking pretentious douchebags. Oh, what are you doing today? Oh, probably hanging out in fucking furry suits and fucking one another, you bunch of fucking freakazoids. You know, what the fuck is all this bullshit? Oh, I'm gonna go to Africa and feed them fucking tabbouleh. Fuck you. Them, what? So welcome to the Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Award Show. All right, kids, gather round. Get your beer and popcorn. Story time. Angry Quad style. A while back, I got a comment to one of my, uh, I think it was the other Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Awards. It actually went out to a guy, Mark Stevens, out in California. The guy's even doing fucking better. Mark, you kick ass. You are a fucking stud fucking muffin. But you got a little competition, kid. Anyway. Start this one out. This guy's a contractor, too. Just saying. This guy went hunting one night. All by himself. I don't know, I think he was on a farmer's land or some tough guy's shit, I don't know. He's up in his tree stand about, I don't know, 20, 25 feet up. I don't know what he was shooting at or something like that. Anyway. Well, I guess his brain stopped working for a fucking second. He fell out of that motherfucker. Hit the ground with such velocity and such ferocity, he snapped himself in two. Folded himself. I don't know, he snapped himself right around here somewhere. I don't know, like a T-12 or some shit. Well, he had the where whereabouts with, you know, still had the whereabouts of himself. Before he fucking went into shock. To fire off the international distress signal for hunters. Three gun blast. Boom! 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 Luckily for him, somebody was paying attention. Knew where he was, I guess. Don't really know. Anyway, they found his fat ass. They found his fucking gelatinous pile of fucking crap. Couldn't do much of anything. Losing fucking consciousness. Long story short, they airlifted him out of there. He ended up in rehab, you know, emergency room, um, emergency laminectomy, I guess, or maybe not a laminectomy. I don't know. He did something to his fucking back. Who knows? Got him out to a hospital by the University of Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. Doctor told me he was never going to walk again. His diagnosis wasn't very promising from the therapist. One small problem. He didn't get the fucking memo. 
started training. After about a month or so, doing the only thing he knew how to, considering he's a fucking contractor, he got to work. Lo and behold, whether if it was fate, hard work, don't rightly know. I'm going with the hard work. Seems to be the fucking course. The path that most people that get any fucking movement back or do much of anything have a tendency to work hard, persistent. They don't fuck around. They focus their fucking energy. And this fucking stuttering prick did the same thing. Lo and behold, after about a month or so, holy shit, his legs started moving. About another month, fucking A. Got his other leg to start moving. Well, like most really cool rehabs, they said, in the opinion of this hospital, and from a therapeutic point of view, we've taken you as far as we can. That was fucking it. Sent them home. Well, when he got home, he got to work. He started kicking his own ass. He started coming up with some shit. You know what he did? He made shit up. Made some little platformy thing. Being a contractor and all. Some roller skate thing or some wheelie fucking thing. I don't know what the fuck he did. I talked to him a couple times. He tries to explain it to me, but uh, you know what? Whatever the fuck he did is what he did, and whatever he did fucking worked. Yeah, you know, he's married at the time. His poor wife would come home, all blown up from fucking work. I've never met the woman, I've never talked to her. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Primary caregivers. Those bitches kick ass. They eat a fucking mile of shit and they come up smiling. Fucking animals. Got home, would train with him for a little while after she got home. How long? I don't know. Long fuck enough, obviously. Well, at his house, he built the deck on the back. And it was a corner of the deck. Where, after a couple months, with a lot of assistance, he was able to stand up. I told him it's only because you're a fucking para. Fucking anybody could do that shit. Anyway, he would get his chair and himself in the corner of the deck where he removed a couple of the spindles on the railing of the deck and his smoking hot stud muffin fucking wife would go outside the deck and she would hold his knees and they would practice standing up. Well, lo and behold, after about four or five months or some shit, this fucking prick was able to stand up on his own. Yeah, you gotta realize at the time, you know, he was working also. He's a framer. You know, he had to give that up for a little while. Actually, I think he had to walk away from it all together. Walk away. You hear what I said? This fucking kid, get a load of this fucking prick. After a while, he was able to walk with those funky ass crutches. Fucking arrogant. What a fucking guy, I swear. Some of you fucking guys just blow my fucking mind. Anyway, this prick decided to walk a 5K. Walk a 5K. Fucking couldn't walk fucking like seven months ago or some shit, but he's walking a 5K. I believe it was some type of fundraiser. Raising funds. I don't know if it was for himself, but I'm guessing it was probably somebody else. This is what fucking heroes do, because this guy's fucking badass. Well, he decided halfway through the 5K that walking with crutches was fucking bullshit. He was cheating. He took his crutches off, hoisted them over his shoulder, and finished the fucking thing. Yeah. 
I am not fucking worthy, brother. But I'm working on it. Uh, did I mention he started a uh, wheelchair lacrosse team while he was a wheelchair lacrosse guy? Get the fuck out of here. Like this shit. You gotta be kidding me. You fucking guys. That's all good and fun. But all that pity little bullshit is not what gives him this fucking guy. Let me tell you something. In order to get this thing, you got to do something badass. Lo and behold, probably like the next summer, part of his therapy, he started surfing again. This part of the story Girls, hold on to your boyfriends. Boys, drop your fucking pickle and listen up. Well, he was doing some knee surfing, and you fucking got it. Lightning strikes twice. The odds of getting your fucking spine snapped in half are about a gozillion to fucking one. Either this guy is a fucking glutton for punishment, or he's the most unlucky motherfucker I've ever heard of. However, long story short, some psycho fucking wave, wah -bah, came up and fucking double pork chopped his ass. Flipped him over, ass over, tea kettle in the air, came down on his fucking head, broke his fucking neck. Three, four, five, upstairs. Well, as he lay there in the surf, thinking to himself, Holy sheep shit. I've done it now. I've broke my neck. Some passerby decided to investigate. Oh, and by the way, might as well save his fucking life at the same time. I don't know who that guy is, but motherfucker, you're a badass too. You ain't getting one of these. You just did your goddamn job. If it wasn't fucking good Samaritans, half the fucking planet would be dead. We need more of you fucking guys. Air lifted him out of there. Ends up back in the same fucking hospital. He said, dude, what have you lost your fucking mind? Guess you didn't do it good enough the first time. Wasn't enough of a challenge for this guy. Fucking redheads, man. You gotta watch out for these freaks of fucking nature. Guess they got no goddamn soul or some shit. Isn't that the story? Yeah, I'm talking about you. And you know I'm talking about you. Same therapist. Holy sheep shit. What the hell did you do now? Well. In the opinion of this hospital, and from a therapeutic point of view, we've taken you as far as we can. He went home. Still a breadwinner. He's still guy, guy still works. He does estimate work. He gets blueprints. He works with builders. And he prices out jobs. Oh, and by the way, did I mention... That he's got his fat ass up standing. That he trains every fucking day. That he can stand independently. He's working on steps. And if I'm a betting man, which I am, I'll put my money on it. Mark Flounlacker, the recipient of the Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Award. Mark, you, my friend, are an amazing fucking guy. I'm proud to say I know you, and I'm proud to call you my friend. Mark, for all you do, brother, the Angry Quad Badass Rhinoceros Award goes to you. Congratulations. Yeah, don't get all fucking broke up. It's not all that bad. Right, brother. Peace out.